Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are going over my personal travel bracelet. It is obviously a work in progress because that's kind of the point of a travel bracelet is to add to it with each new place that you go. But mom and I recently took a 21 day cruise on the Carnival Pride in Europe and I was able to pick up quite a few country exclusives and fun charms for all the different fun things we did. And so I wanted to show you an overview of my bracelet today. It is rose gold and silver. I'm going to be adding blush things to it and it's a very feminine um, bracelet. I love, I've been wearing it almost nonstop. I wore it the entire cruise. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you all of the charms up close, individual hallmarks, charms, whole nine yards. But if you want to see um, a lot of these charms, mom and I got all the same country exclusives styled in a different way. You may want to jump over to the video where I show you her bracelet. We have very different styles and she has gone with a Pandora shine, that pretty gold, rose gold, whoop, hair, I have a lot of hair, and blue theme. Goodness gracious. So same charms, very different stylings, and I hope one of them loads your boat. But today, forget about the gold, forget about the blue. We are going rose gold, and I'm going to show you my bracelet and how I styled it. I hope you love it. Let's get started. Okay, so here is my bracelet, a cl quick close up. You can see that I have two hearts at the moment. I have the third one on the way from Sweden. I will probably just do an entire video just on that charm. So let's go ahead. Clip here opens like a carabiner. And let's go right to left. So first off, I have my clips. These are the original retired globe clips, but I recently found them on Rula Law. I will link to that unboxing, but they are not silicone lined they are open they are supposed to go over clip stations so i just have a little silicone stopper inside so that they don't slide around now i can forcibly move them just a little bit so next up good old spain so this is the flamingo dangle from spain it says hallmarks pandora S925 ALE and on the other side it says Spain with a little heart it's so cute so I got this one in La Corona but it has the little golden guitar that red flamingo fan and the red dotted shoe and look at the bottom it has a little heart on the bottom of the shoe the little treads. How cute is that? A lot of the exclusives have a hidden heart somewhere on them. So next to Spain is Portugal. So we tried very hard to get the heart exclusive from Portugal and we're not able to get it while we were there. But we did get Our Lady of Guadalupe, which of course has the heart and a star and the other side has the hallmarks. ALE S925. She is beautiful. So much detailing. So much detailing. I'm going to go ahead and slide this all the way loose so that I can really show each charm individually. You can see all that detailing the heart and the wings on the bottom, the black, and then the back has oh my gosh, this is my favorite part of the whole charm. Whoop. My hands aren't working anymore. I've done too many of these videos. CZ's stars, a blanket of stars with CZ's in the middle. It catches the light so pretty on this bracelet. I love it. So obviously she is not an exclusive to Portugal, but they do claim her as one of their own as a lot of Spanish speaking countries do. And I, I almost picked her up in Mexico the last time I was there, but I didn't and so I was very happy to get her in Portugal. All right next we have Notre Dame. So this is obviously the cathedral from Paris. I have been there 
but I actually picked this one up, Heart Hallmarks. Oh, you can see the wear even from just, I, I literally wore these every single day for at least 21 days while I was on the ship on my open bangle, but still. I picked this one up in Rouen for their cathedral, but it is supposed to be Notre Dame in Paris, but I have been both places, so I figured it would be a pretty charm for either spot. Next up, a lot of the countries that don't have specific dangle exclusives do have hearts like this. So these are engravable hearts. It says Germany, and I love this one the most because it has that little outline of the country. They all have hearts around the side, and you can see the hallmarks are always on the bottom. S925, ALE, with those engraved hearts all the way around. Some just say the name, some say the name and a heart. Some have a little character, some have a character on the back. But this was like one of the very first ones I got. And so I literally wore this one and Big Ben like almost every single day. <laughs> but you know, that's, that's the point of the charms. If you can't wear them all day, every day, they're kind of pointless. So this one I tried so hard to get, but apparently it is not available in a lot of the European countries. So I did have to order this one. I did an unboxing when I came home, but it is the rose gold cherry blossom. And it moves just a little bit, just left, right, left, right, left, right. Just a little bit of movement. It has that blush pink CZs on the bale. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Here's the hallmarks. Maybe, can I get it to focus? The rose gold ones don't oxidize the same, so the hallmarks are often harder to read, but there we go. A-L-E-M-E-T. It has a little heart on the back. Now this flower I got to represent Givarnay. Monet's home and gardens where he painted the water lilies. We did see the water lilies. And if they'd had a water lily charm, I would have picked that one up. But since they didn't, I thought this little cherry blossom was the closest to the pretty pink floating water lilies at Giverney. So it might be the rose gold cherry blossom charm, but to me, it is the floating water lily. Next up, another not exclusive that I'm pretending is exclusive. This is a Disney charm for the Little Mermaid that we got in Copenhagen. So it is not always available everywhere. It wasn't available for a while, I want to say, in the States, but I believe it is again. It says Pandora. S925. A-L-E. She has the prettiest detailing. She just looks like she's sitting on her little rock, which of course in Copenhagen, the little mermaid is very tiny and she sits on her little rock. And then on the right side of the bale, it says Disney. So I love it. If you want to see any of my travel videos, mom and I did shoot a travel video for every single port day. They are all either out or coming out. I will link to my Europe cruise tour video uh, playlist down below and you can go check it out. So like literally if you want to see us seeing the Little Mermaid in Copenhagen, I have a video. If you want to see Giverney and mom and I walking amongst the flowers, you can check that out. We saw a castle, a real castle, hint, hint, in Germany. You can check that out. I mean, literally every single place we went, we filmed. Speaking of filming, this little reindeer, Rose Gold, we got him from Rue La La because we could not find the Pandora store in Helsinki, Finland, where this guy is supposed to represent. He's obviously a flipper, flip, flip, flip. He, he, there's no way he wouldn't be with that big head of his, but he's so cute with his little antlers. And I believe his hallmarks are on the bottom. Yes, there we go. Now we got him for all the reindeer in Helsinki. 
He is so cute. All right, this one is a nice one, but a sad one. So it says, I can never remember. A cup of tea starts everything? That doesn't make any sense. Whew. A cup of tea solves everything. That makes way more sense. Get it to focus. There we go. So it does say Pandora on the other side. There's a little magical cup of tea. It has those blue accents all the way around. The S925 ALE is on the bottom. My favorite detailing is on the little saucer. There is a little spoon and a little biscuit with a little heart in the middle of the biscuit. Might be getting too dark for this, but we're going to keep going as long as we have the light. He's so cute. So this little guy is not an exclusive. You can still order him. I'll link below. But it came out early in London for the Queen's Jubilee, which was only... a little bit before we arrived. And unfortunately, while we were literally on the cruise ship outside of London, um, the queen passed away. So we went ahead and picked this guy up in London for the queen. And I know it's not specifically an exclusive. A lot of people in England thought it was until they released it worldwide. It is still special. And I think for a lot of people represents the queen. Although it could really represent anything you wanted it to. All right, next up, a Disney Parks exclusive, the Rose Gold Castle. Dun, da, da, da. And it has a pretty bail with the CZ. It says Pandora. There's the hallmarks. This little guy I got to represent Shrine Castle in Germany. I will put a picture up on the screen of the castle, but I just love how it sparkles. Look at all those turrets. It's so pretty. The CZs hit so nicely. It says Disney Parks on the bottom, and then the back is the turrets. We are so close to done, y'all. Pray for the light. Pray for the light. All right, next up is another heart exclusive. So this one's from Spain. So you can see the difference here is the Spain with the red heart versus Germany with the little red heart and the country outline. I, I like them. I don't know that I'd want a whole bracelet of them, but I think I want three or four. I have another one coming from Sweden. Um, that's a whole other story. And then we're going to Greece next year, and I'm hoping to get one for Greece. All right, last three charms. Next up is the Colosseum Dangle, and this one is a chunky boy. But it has that heart. It's 360 because, of course, the Colosseum is 360. It says, dun, 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 Pandora. S925 ALE and on the other side has a heart and says Rome. I love it and I love how chunky it is. I think it's nice when your exclusive charms really have a presence on the bracelet because that's why you get them. I want to remember the Colosseum. Next up, another exclusive, the Big Ben Dangle. You can see that heart very prominently as well. Once again, we have Heart London. We love London. And on the other side, our hallmarks. So Pandora, S925 ALE, and that P2 that some of the travel exclusives have. So pretty. Last but not least, we have the Arc de Triomphe from France. It has a little heart on the bail little CZs. It does say Pandora on the bottom. On the right 
it says S925ALE and on the left it is clear. So I love how delicate this one is. I know, I just said I like chunky boys, but I like delicate too. I'm a girl of many tastes, okay? I like it all, hence the problem. I also like that this one hangs at a um, like angle instead of necessarily being just from the middle. Well, that's it, that is the whole bracelet. I hope you guys liked it. If you wanna go check out mom's bracelet, I will leave that link below. But for now, this is my bracelet. I will be adding plenty of charms over the next couple of years. We literally have trips to Greece and a few other places, Alaska. Dad and I are going to Alaska. You guys don't get to see my dad very often, so that'll be really fun. But going all over the place and I'll be getting charms everywhere we go. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.